What is up, dogs? It's your boy, Mike Mason, here for another Fireside Chat. Yo, we've got a dank episode tonight, uh, a ridiculous demo from Phil Siegel, uh, the wizard, man behind the wizards, whatever, incredible glass worker. Um, let me just take a second to introduce my lovely co-host, Carrie Strope. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome again this evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has sound like uh, RuPaul over here, but like, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Oh, yes. Yes, this is Josh McDaniels. <laughs> Josh McDaniel, hell yeah. Yeah. Shout out to, to the homie man, <laughs> fucking the champs winner a couple of years back. And then, yo, who made that sick cup? Oh, right. This. This is uh, Brian Raskin's Mirador Glass. Let's see. All right. All right. Yeah, Carrie. I don't know. The shape oh. on this cup is hot. There we go. Anyways, exactly. um, yeah, yeah you, you guys, uh, care is a soft and, uh, cold glass, uh, educator level home, homegirl type person. She's real glassy. Um, really stoked to have her by my side for this. Um, guys, so, all right. Uh, y'all know that Carrie works with high volume oxygen. I wanted to share something really cool before we, uh, get started with the demo. Check this shit out for real. Y'all are gonna like this. It's our top story on 1011 now at 10. I'm Jennifer Ortega. And I'm Bill Shammert. As the pandemic progresses, the White House called upon American manufacturers to help fight COVID-19. Now Ford Motor Company is looking to a Lincoln business for help to create the part of their project. New at 1011's Elsie Ellis Wiltsey has more. Modular expandable oxygen system. And uh, it's used primarily in glass blowing, but we have a lot of customers in veterinary. We have a lot of customers in uh, aquaculture, uh, which is fish farming. High volume oxygen system was created and patented by Corn Blue and his partners 10 years ago. In its newest role, it was taken to Michigan to help be a part of a project ordered by the White House. Their mandate from Ford was to build an oxygen trailer uh, that can be taken to basically site. The goal of the trailers is to aid in areas where people may not be able to get to hospitals for ventilators. Well, these trailers are built to do uh, 200 liters a minute, and we calculated that that could do anywhere from about, let's say, 30 to 30 to 45 ventilators. Corn Blue says he feels honored he can help during the pandemic and that if approved to move forward, that the trailers can be used in instances other than COVID-19. A few of these were located in Puerto Rico, for example, during the hurricane. This is before COVID-19, but I remember reading stories where people were dying for lack of oxygen in the hospitals. So it's just a very important um, piece of equipment for the country to have. High volume oxygen tells me that trailer passed its proof of concept test by medical and field experts. It tells me now it must wait for Ford and FEMA to decide what to do moving forward. Reporting in Lincoln, Ellis will see 1011 now. Yo, okay, so that I thought that was really neat, man. You guys know I rock the high volume and they're, they're I mean they've been a sponsor for years now and these are just good friends of mine, so now, like I said, I thought it was really neat that the fucking news stopped by and this this project, man, it's been hard to like keep my mouth shut about it, even though it's <laughs> been like heavily under wraps. But this thing is like the craziest high volume system ever. It's like uh, they were saying in the thing, it's like 200 liters per minute. So that's like 20, 10 liter per minute concentrators, probably more like 25 because they're running a little bit lower. And it's all in this giant trailer that they can take from place to place when emergencies, you know, need more oxygen. And this is, like I said, it's a project with Ford. Save the Ford jokes. I'm just playing. <laughs> like, uh, I thought that was super cool and totally worth sharing. Um, but yo, guys, okay, the homie we're going to see tonight is one of my favorite uh, glass artists, uh, Phil Siegel. I wanted to take a second to just show you some of his work before we jump into this demo. Just say so I'll know who you're fucking with or whatever, because you know this cat is a. His work is really unique. His approach is unique. Collaborations are legendary. Let me sh let me pull this up and, and and show you guys just a little taste of the homie's work. Um, some of these collaborative trumpets I think are absolutely incredible, uh, and he does this with Itai, who was also there on the Melt Main stage. Uh, he's not in in the footage we'll see tonight, but. It was like uh, Phil, Salt, and Itai throwing down on the Melt Main stage. And 
I was just kind of scrolling down through this stuff. Um, this one with Krunk. Uh, the the wizard theme prevailing in his work. I was mentioning when we, when we first got started. The man behind the wizards or whatever. The man behind the curtain. Uh, but, God, the, the, the work is just... Man. Like this piece, for example, with Lace Face. Absolutely incredible. Um, this piece with Cowboy... Like, what the... Really, really, really evocative and uh, beautiful with this piece. You know, obviously, Salvador Dali-inspired. Um, here's here's one of these, like, a the little trumpet piece or whatever. Um, man, I, I really love his work. Uh, if you guys... Um, if you look in the video description, there's, I guess, a documentary that was made about one of these pieces, uh, the Summer Trumpet, and I highly recommend you guys give it a watch after the show. Um, we're gonna watch this demo and then play some games, and then you should definitely throw that on. Uh, let's keep moving here, there's a little... These pieces are... Yeah, these pieces are incredible. Uh, this series of work is that's the spring trumpet. They're all uh, they're all heavily themed. The hands playing. It's like every one just gets cooler and cooler. And man, it's not just that they nail the shaping and everything. It's just the colors of them and the way they. God, I, I really like this work. And like I said, this is seriously one of my favorite artists working in the game. So. I wanted to just take a moment to kind of appreciate this work. Yo, he's also running that high volume. I'm telling you, baby. It's yep, this. Yep. Yeah, that's a real system, yo. This, you know, everything. Uh, he's, he's old school. That's like one of the first ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, back when back when I got it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but for real, the HVO is tight. And the standard to which it is made is, you know, why they're able to throw it into this, you know, portable oxygen trailer and you know, go out and save lives, you know, with a serious company and that sort of thing. Not to turn this into an HVO thing or whatever, but HVO fam. That's right. Yep. Anyways, this is just a taste of the homie's work. Um, you know, after the, after the uh, demo, you know, I got some sticker packs for y'all out there. And then uh, I do have for a grand prize winner, you know, we keeping it fresh and clean. <laughs> got the hand sanitizer, and I got a bottle of ISO for somebody out there. Lucky winner after the show. I'll probably throw in some million shit, too, for that pack. So, anyways, we'll do that after the demo, and then we'll play some games together. So and You mentioned that, that documentary. Someone was saying, where where you find that? Uh, it, I linked it in the video description. Okay, so, cool. if, if you look in, in the video oh, description there, there you is. can find it. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find, I guess. I, I won't pull it up, I guess. But let's just go ahead and, and get into this demo. I know that's why a lot of y'all are here. Like, shut up, Mike. Show me the technique. And that's okay. As long as you're here. Yo, uh, these companies that we're taking just a minute to acknowledge, man, these companies pitch in every month and help me get to all of these shows. And because a lot of these companies have been pitching in for years now and some of you guys on Torch Pass... Uh, that's why we're still enjoying the dankest of dank footage, you know, well into all this uh, lockdown, man. And we could do this for another year or two without letting up on the quality level before I have to start, like, inventing new shit, you know? Or, like, putting a little twist on something and pretending it's new. But, like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we call that a suction stack. Really amazing way to make tubing. Now, anyways, uh, but for real, these companies are, are simply what makes it possible for me to get to all of these shows and to not have a panic attack over the finances involved in doing that and doing it right. So, like I said, just a minute to, to give a shout out. All of these are dank companies. This is something of a family thing. I know there's a lot of companies now, but like we're, at, we're in like a greatest hits of all the companies I fuck with. I love them all. Um, yo, speaking of things I love, this is East Coast Melt. I threw in just a minute of like a, an aerial view. It's on. It's situated on a beautiful lake, man. There's homegirls doing yoga. Uh, this big building here is like a cafeteria, and there's also torches set up in there and stuff where they had the competition. That van is a portable soft glass studio where you can learn to do soft glass if you want while you're there. Or 
fuck up a cup, you know, whatever it'll be. And then all these tents are uh, where all the, the action happens, so to speak. This one here at the bottom of the screen is the main stage tent area, whatever you want to call it. The big top uh, where the big, big names throw down. And then uh, there's like 120 stations in these tents over there. This is older footage from the air. Uh, we've since expanded over to that other court, so it is uh, it is seriously something to behold. And normally we're in the torch tent or whatever, but uh, this footage we're going to jump right into the main stage. Uh, everybody kicks it in these nice cabins. There's showers in there with hot water. It's super chill. There's me and an old friend Jordan man in the house. Homie in the background riding a bike. There's bike trails around the place. There's skate parks. There's uh, everything you can do at a, at a camp, except for the gymnastics stuff. You gotta stay off that. There's like insurance reasons. They know that we'll fucking break a leg <laughs> out there. <laughs> Never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the obstacle yeah, course. This spot is really beautiful. Um, I can't say enough about Melt. It's. Uh, the homie in the chat asked if that's my drone. No, nah, that was uh, Juan Noll, man, the homie. He actually won our Melt Away Hunger giveaway one year and was able to come out uh, to melt for free. So here's Phil, uh, the homie whose work we just saw. And he's making this uh, dichroic cane. And, you know, with dichro is one of those things where you always want to back it with some kind of dark color, you know? always bet on black or whatever when it comes to to the dichro i mean the cobalts are really whatever works i even like the striking reds with certain dichro colors but um essentially you do want to put something on it to back it or whatever so here he is doing some striping and this to me you know is really about finding that sweet spot you see he's got this angle where like it's hitting the rod but also splashing onto the rod that he's melting and that allows it to like kind of keep keep hot and have you know just be ready for the next stripe so to speak you don't want that getting too cold and just getting unhappy while you're doing this striping or whatever so here he is just just taking his time laying a nice thick layer of that black that will like i said back the dike row that's about to get rolled up and yeah that's what we're talking about here uh, is a dike row roll up and he's literally going to take a big sheet of dike row and and with the right heat and with, with gravity is going to just roll it up repeatedly around this black core and then he'll uh, make that into some cane so yeah it's it's not the uh the most intricate you know there's not like 800 steps here but this is a really 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 cool process he's kind of twisting as he's striping huh he it does look like he's giving a little bit of motion that can help mix your color and really kind of help force it into the crevice that is formed, you know, from the previous stripe. And that's what's mm -hmm. important because you don't want to, like, trap any air underneath that crevice. Because, you know, if it's something where you can see it, it it's, it's visually unsightly, but it's definitely going to be a stress point. And it's something that, like, if you don't get that thing fucking raging, you know, if you don't essentially turn it into a marble, there's no way that that long line of air is truly going to melt back into a little happy sphere you know of air it's gonna be this long fucked up jagged crevice or whatever and that's problematic for a number of reasons so you know it kind of depends on your methodology but if you know if you roll that color on it it it, it doesn't really hurt and it can really like i said help force it into that crevice as you go and make sure that no air is getting trapped in there you can even see a little air trap at the top if you look into that kind of window. It might not be visible now. It might have just been that angle. It's okay. That part at the very top is going to just get, you know, removed in the end. But you can kind of even see, like, where that initial tag happened and left this little tiny, you know, crevice of air. It's just visible for a second, but... Anyways, yeah. Just striping this blank up. And this isn't, like, a super precise marini or anything. It... it this doesn't have to be the most precise, but again, he just uh, really doesn't want to trap air is, is my take there, you know. Now it's going to all cook back and turn that into a nice little solid chunk of rod or whatever with the black encasement. But because of the way he did it, 
the heat and the timing and the positioning. We know that there's no fucking nasty air in there or anything weird to come back and bite you later. Shit, John Joe sitting ain't been with us in years. Welcome back, my dog. <laughs> Welcome back, my son. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Even super special mic voice. <laughs> <laughs> the prodigal lamp worker returns. <laughs> No, welcome back, dog. Uh, I really do appreciate everybody out there who joins us and makes this thing into a party. It's part of the reason I get to do this this special thing that I love so much. As a glass worker myself, man, I feel so uh, honored and privileged to be able to capture stuff like this with you know literally some of my heroes, my glass blowing heroes, but also my life heroes because I prioritize glass so much. So. <laughs> Step down, fireman, or whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't offend any members in our chat. Right, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mark Mayor, our, exactly our fireman homie in the chat. I'm just kidding, man. They're the real heroes. First responders and all that such. Anyways, yeah, so, uh, you know, this is a move that I know you guys know I love. If you watch the show, you know, is rolling things in the Marver, tapping them from the end. And really letting it get hit from multiple surfaces and kind of let gravity do the work from there. You know, let gravity in those surfaces do the thing. And now look at this. This is a, uh, it just looks like a chunk of, you know, rod now. So that was a dicor rod that he laid down? No, no, that's just that black. black. That's that's okay. just forming so this, this core. Thing. Yeah, that's going to back the dicro so that, you know, all the rod looks like it's popping. Right. All right. And in this case, he's actually going to make a flat rod, but this process would be the same for like a circular rod, just don't flatten it. All right, so here's this sheet of dicro um and he's basically going to get that edge tagged. And then like I, I was mentioning a minute ago, it's it's just like a positioning and heat and gravity game. Such that this thing gets rolled up on there. Doesn't trap any air. Nothing weird happens. And yeah, now he's hitting it on the side that doesn't have this coating. And like I said, it's just kind of just rolling it on up, letting heat and gravity be your friend. And he's just not going too fast. But then it, some of the cool action here is when he comes around to that little where it's going to hit the, the part that's already laid down will get that tucked. This whole process is, is pretty cool. Like I said, this isn't the like the 500 step demo, but that's like the $500 demo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Check this shit. This is the boss moves right here. This is what makes it possible. I'm like, well, we're gonna trap air. Uh, no, man, you just, you gotta pause at the right time and get it hot enough kind of roll it from one side to the other with that with that paddle and then boom now you're right back on track maybe it's just me but we kind of overcomplicate these things sometimes in my I head you know pretty, i think that's pretty yeah. typical yeah <laughs> but yeah i mean look at how quickly that went and it's fucking gorgeous no no air is trapped nothing it's got like a double layer the double dose of that dank dyke row. And it's already just looks so blinging because it's it's because it's already backed with, you know, with the, the black in there. Shane in the chat is mentioning he's been told to put the dicro into the kiln to get it to fragment. They call that like, um, like crinkling. Is that the right term, Carrie? 
Yeah, I was gonna. I was wondering if he was talking about the crinkle dichroic. There's a specific yeah. dichroic that's made to crinkle. Yeah, I mean you can do that, but in this case, it's it's getting plenty crinkled as it goes on. You know what I mean? Um, you can pre-warm your dichro. There's all sorts of things you can do, but in this case, um, I think the homie just went in on it. I think it may have may have been pre-warmed, but it didn't sit in there long enough at enough temperature to like pre crinkle or whatever that's where all the pattern like goes turns from that solid sheet to what it looks like there you know like a almost textured surface and there he went and added some extra glass there just to even all that out perhaps cover the edge and now it's going to be a lot of the same game uh, as with that black you know just a matter of rolling this back and letting it all um, even out a bit before it actually gets flattened and pulled down into this really, really gorgeous uh, flat cane that, that I think he and Salt then used on a project. And yeah, we're just starting to get into the melt footage. Um, this is melt 2019, so this was like, gosh, already about eight months ago. And uh, yeah, summer camp for glass artists. It really is an amazing experience. It's not quite like any other uh, thing that I cover, you know? Maybe the DFO, the type of thing where everybody's coming out just to hang out and, you know, watch some sick glass get melted. There's no pressures of a trade show, all that type of stuff. And just collaborations going on everywhere. Right, yeah. It really is quite the time. All the meals are provided, and these guys do an amazing job in the kitchen. Fishing derby. Yeah, there's a fishing contest. There's a glass <laughs> contest. It, it, man, they do so much for everybody who comes out. It's a really amazing time. A huge shout-out to uh, Sean Gold, uh, to Paul Catherman, uh, to Todd Dunlap to Josh Maze and to Kevin Beecher, the Melt homies, man. And these dudes, like they're 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 just they're passionate about everybody having an amazing time. It it really shows when you come out. It's sometimes every now and then when it, people post about it, they're just like, "What? That's that's a lot of money." And it's like, "No. It ain't. It's nothing." When you consider that you get to watch legends like Phil do stuff like this, this is just one of the hundred things that I filmed, let alone, you know, what's going on. Um, what an amazing time. I have a melt tattoo, if you guys haven't watched the show very long. Every now and then I pull my old leg up there and... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> I'm testing the waters right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you guys, here he's adding some clear. Kind of even this thing out and, and just bulk it out a bit, you know, because there's so much dichro here, you know, that this thing can probably be thinned out even more. Uh, here we see that same technique where he's letting that glass get really hot and kind of rolling it on. And like I said, I really think that that helps that glass kind of go on in a way that uh, precludes trapping air. So... I can't remember who it was. Someone in chat earlier was saying it helps to uh, lay down a thicker line that way, too. It can. I mean, the thickness of a line you lay is also really controlled by the angle that you're striping at, you know? Okay. And the speed that you stripe at. All of those things contribute to how much exactly is getting laid down. Uh, some of the homies in chat are asking if Melt is, uh, if they're planning on doing it this year. That's a great question. I believe they are planning on doing it. But I believe that they've probably accepted the possibility that it might not happen. It depends on the status of the camp. And, you know, I, uh, I don't know. It's a tough one there. It's... I don't want to get in all the politics of coronavirus and stuff. I, I know some homies are like not going to leave the house until there's a vaccine. And I know some homies who are, you know, ready to walk into Subway with a bazooka on their back or whatever. Like, fuck this. <laughs> so, 
I don't know. I really, I, uh, I don't want to speak for the Melt Boys on that. I, uh, I have a feeling that 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 it's still so far away that they're not ready to mentally accept the idea of it not happening or <laughs> whatever. Uh, as of now, I think it might happen. It, it's. You know, it's not the type, it's not like a trade show where like 120 glass artists come out and then like 3,000 buyers as well, right? This is just the dogs. And if they set up maybe like another tent, you know, we could probably spread everyone out. There's so many cabins on the property that we could probably spread everyone out in those two. I think it's possible that we might uh, have melt this year. I don't know. I. If not, I also completely understand. It's a weird time. I've mentally accepted there might not be big trade shows and stuff until well into 2021. So, anyways, that's my take on that. I don't want to muck up our party talking about this thing that I'm trying to forget about for a few hours here with my dogs. Amen. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Carrie's kept me quite up to speed. I, you know, it's... <laughs> I, I, I took our daily COVID chart. Yeah, <laughs> she's the COVID tracker in the family. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so this this bad boy here has got a nice coating of clear now, and just getting it all cooked in and super happy. There's like a fat section of of glass now. It's almost like a milli, milli build at this point, you know? It is All right. Advisable. Now here's where the homie gives it that flatten that I was mentioning. If you wanted round cane, you would just treat it, you know, like you would have just not done this. But here he's using that big flattening pad. Y'all might remember that from the, uh, the flat stack episode where I did that to a hollow tube, you know, and turned it into the pocket for the flat stack. But yeah, now this thing will pull into a ribbon cane. And this bad boy is just... Every time I come around your city, bling bling, you know, type of thing here. Sure that ends all happy probably just tag that and kind of pull it into a thing you know almost like a moil for a milli just got to get it so it'll pull even you know and just use all that gunk there as part of a sacrificial see that he's like shaping it into a bit more of a, a thing that's approaching the end Yeah, Shane, I don't know what the colors are. I got, I, I just buy those bags of Dicro off eBay, you know? <laughs> All right, here's that move I was mentioning where he's just kind of like grabbing glass from those ends, kind of from that sacrificial part, and now it's all pulled together. And that way it'll, it'll pull down evenly, you know? It's all getting pulled from... It's getting the same amount of force applied to it because he did all of that, you know, pulled it evenly. Instead of just trying to tag one end, you know, and pull it, it'll get pulled from the middle if you do that. So that allows him to get every last drop. Same thing you do on a milli pull, except, you know, on a milli, you're really trying to get every last drop, so you might add some extra glass there. There's usually not as much overhang, but you get the idea. And yeah, now it's a matter of, uh, this thing already had quite a bit of core heat, you know, from when he mashed it. So it was really just a matter of heating it up. And here it looked like he kind of did a half pull, kind of get it started going. Put a little more heat into the other end, and then it'll be able to pull from that hot end with some of the diameter already set. Now when you when it flips, you can really see how much clear and dichro there is around that core. And how much it is blinging. <laughs> So yeah, a really, really neat way to make a heavily layered dichro prep. 
And like I mentioned, if he, if he had just kept it round, this would pull down into a nice round cane as well. But because he made it flat, it's pulled down like this. Get that junk off of there. Now it's just nothing but real happy glass. If anything, there might be a little bit of gunk in that section that's all pulled down, but you can see it pulls into the good shit, so it's like... Even if that handle wanted to get a little weird, it, it just it wouldn't progress past the point at which you can see where like the black and the clear and all that are stretching out and shit. That's... A lot of times the name of the game, you know, is to just get your good glass separated from your shitty glass that might get weird. It happens in a lot of processes and it's always worth it to take a little extra time to just get that shit separated by some something in the middle that's happy, you know. Instead of just trying to proceed with some fucked up glass, even if it's just going to be removed a little bit later, you know. If it's something that can a crack can run into your work, you know, it's, you just got to get rid of it fast. So, anyways, and yeah, here's the homie adjusting this to give him, you know, like a, a really nice even section. And this will be a lot easier to deal with than if he tried to pull smaller sections when it was still so giant, you know. Glad it to come down to a much more manageable size first. Oftentimes that can be the deal with milli pulls as well, you know. Sometimes I'll draw those out a bit as I'm heating them up and then kind of let it cool down a little bit and then go in on a smaller section so I can really ensure that I have as much control as possible. This is a lot like adjusting a milli build as well, you know? Just let it get the right amount of heat into it. And he's kind of pulling against the part that's already cold, you know? So it goes to that diameter. So it's just a heat and timing thing. Our dislikers checked in. <laughs> Somebody in the chat mentioned <laughs> It's not about the video. I probably banned them from Torch Talk eight years ago, and they're still mad. So, <laughs> at least they're still with us and alive. I don't, it's okay. All right, they're still here, yeah. consistent. Yeah. The week that they don't, you know, I'm gonna have to like look up, look up the homies, you know, and call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of the story I saw where like uh, this dude was saved because. He, he was a fat ass and he ordered a pizza like so often that when he didn't order the pizza, the delivery guy who'd gotten got to know him, you know, was like, uh uh, something's wrong, man. My boy didn't order his pizza today. And sure enough, man, he called the, the oh, ambulance God. or something and they found him dying. And he saved his life. <laughs> what a That's what we're going to do for our hater when he doesn't hit that dislike button initially. <laughs> Bring him back to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to you, Tesla Glass or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I pulled down a really nice section of this. Now, oh, 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 okay, so here's what I was mentioning, man. Like, because he separated the, the fucked up glass, there was, the, it just broke there right at that handle. I mean, maybe you could have sealed that handle on better. I don't know. I'm just saying, though, it did not spread past that. Because he took that time and separated that by pulling it down a bit and segmenting it. So. For the win. Cats catching up. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Everybody's like, oh yeah, that dude is a bitch. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and there's fireworks at Mel. Yeah, yeah. So, man, that was like one minute out of 30 of the uh, fireworks that melt. And, man, I mean, the homie, uh, Sean, a huge shout-out to him, man. He does so much to get this event going in the first place. But what he does on that fireworks show? Fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, guys, these companies, yo... Uh, they help me get to all these shows and make it possible to capture dank stuff like this. I cannot express enough appreciation. Um, they've really, there's simply a, like a financial wall involved in getting to all of these shows and capturing all of this right and buying like three hard drives a year to, to store all the footage. Uh, it's one thing after another involved in this, so these guys make it possible to give our industry this ESPN level of coverage that I really believe it deserves. I mean, cool shit like we just saw does not belong uncaptured if it's possible, you know? If everybody's down, then we need to be filming the shit out of that. And that is, you know, that's just scratching the surface of the amazing stuff we've been able to capture because you guys show up and some of y'all pitch in and because these companies pitch in, so... Can't can't express enough gratitude for that. Yo, homies, um, throw some numbers into that chat, one through two hundred, and we'll give away. Like I said, I got like a sticker pack with some Millie and stuff, and then I call these the, the, the fresh and clean giveaway because you get the hand sanitizer, but you also get the isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> what? So, like I said, throw your numbers in, um, and we'll pick a winner for that. And now we're going to watch two hours of Carrie demoing mosaics. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for real, Carrie did a really great stream the other day. Um, I'm pretty stoked. I helped her uh, get this studio kind of wired for filming. It's actually, if you guys have been watching for a while, we did an episode of Torch Talk. Uh, it's called How to Make Money While Making Money. Uh, we had Bob Dog with us talking about doing the thing on Twitch and how to create engaging streams over there. Um, but in the beginning, I took like 10 or 15 minutes and uh, did like a, a presentation about the, all the hardware involved and all of that. And this setup we made is pretty much what I was talking about there. So I won't go too too deep and long on it or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very much that concept and being able to do a split screen with multiple cameras and, you know, it's using... It's so awesome. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> sweet. It's, it's a lot of what I had in my studio before... Um, but man, Carrie's using it much better than I ever did. Um, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I want to give a huge shout out to the homies who uh, pitched in on the Patreon thing, man. We're at nearly 200 homies on there, which was kind of the goal in the first place. I was like, when we hit about 200 on there, I think we're going to be like, you know, I might actually be able to sleep at night, you know, whatever. There's um, so much, so many videos on there already. Yeah, there are. I, I think the. Uh, I had a video of them, but it looks like it, it disappeared. I might have to update the source there. Where's the file? <laughs> Doc Roberts says Panda TV tonight. Panda TV. <laughs> Here we go. 
Yeah. So anyways, here's another one with Phil Siegel on there, actually, how he did crushed opal tubing. Yo, that is a slick, slick, slick method, actually. Um, he uses, like, clear frit to back it as he's doing it. Fucking tight. That travel pod recycler is a two-part. Each one of them is, like, an hour and a half. It's, like, m or more. It's ridiculous. The homie in the chat asks, is Torch Pass pretty accessible on cell phones? Most definitely. Each one of these things just becomes a YouTube video. So it's pretty easy to uh, browse. You know, you'll click it and then you'll be able to launch the YouTube app from there or uh, just just push it. Yeah, as homie says, who turned out the lights? <laughs> just because, yeah, it took me a second to load this thing up. I moved that video around is all. And, and anyways, so so this stuff, you guys will see this on, on our show here in, in the future. Uh, nothing I film is like, um, it really tucked away for anybody. It's I just dropped this stuff here to hook up the homies who can pitch in. You guys get some things like six months early is what it is. So all this stuff eventually, it, it's it's pretty much like getting a six month early access preview to to Torch Talk or whatever. Um, and yeah, man, there's there's just so much great shit. So this is almost like a bit of a preview of what you guys will see over the next year or so. That Tim Dreyer one is going to free up next month. I'm actually really excited to have him with us. Yeah, yeah. Especially since he's, I mean, the one thing about coronavirus is Tim Dreyer's available to chat with us, potentially. Yeah, yeah. And There's the one we just to saw tonight. <laughs> the homies have been enjoying that since November. Anyways, yeah, this is uh, five bucks a month gets you access to this. And it really does just goes to getting me to all these shows and... You know, allowing me to, to take the time away from my own work in order to do all of this and edit this properly and to, to really do it with the love that it deserves. So that's the idea, I guess. It looks like everybody's numbers are, are coming in. We're to the point where they're arguing over numbers or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pick some winners here and then we'll play some games. I know that's... that's uh, some of y'all are here for the game time. Mm, game that's time awesome. Earl, yeah, so. one of your, your Millie right. eyes that you, he got with your uh, stickers. And yeah, yeah. Culture. I really appreciate that. It's so fun when I see the stickers or the Millie and stuff pop up on people's work. So what did I say? One through 200? That you did. All right. Here we go. Let's pick a winner for that big grand prize. And I do need y'all to uh, hit me up within the next 24 hours. Yeah, there's a there's a sticker level now on there for homies who just want like a fat sticker pack every other month. Are we ready to um, spin? I am. All right, do the spinning. We, 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 uh, we, yeah, right here. That's right. <laughs> one fifteen. All right, do we have a one fifteen? I do not see a one fifteen. I do not see a one fifteen. All right, here we go. One eighty six. Oh, I you see, see that. Charity me. Archer. Charity, Charity yeah. Archer just won the grand prize. The. The That's ISO. The alcohol. Yeah, yeah, the real gold. And a fat sticker pack. Hell yeah. Charity actually won, I think, wasn't the fishing derby at Melt. Is that right? We were talking about that fishing derby is just one of the like super cool things that they do for everybody who comes out um that's right one like a really nice like a gtt torch as i recall and like a, a, an amazing uh, like the prize was from uh, chelsea out at the trapper studio and she does those amazingly realistic fish some of y'all might remember the demo um let's let's give away some sticker packs and then uh, we'll play some games clickety clack 110 Nope. 167. Oh, oh, I see that shit. See Benjamin, Benjamin McLean Carrier writing these people down. <laughs> I am, yes. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and I just sent out like like 12 sticker packs like a week ago. So if you're waiting on a pack, um, give it a few days. And if you don't get one, get in touch with me. I know there were probably just like a couple of people that got lost in the fray. But most of everybody's hooked up. All right, so Benjamin, hit me up, Mike Mason at gmail.com. Charity, you know where to get at me. Um, and let's pick another sticker pack winner, because I do like to give these things away. 
I really do appreciate everybody who tunes in and makes this thing a party, man. You guys are so fun, and this really is a, just one of the most special parts of my life. It, it's uh, a super, super positive thing. I really appreciate you guys. All right. Okay, I don't see a 25. I see people talking about 25 mil tubing, but that don't count. All right. What's up? I don't see a 20. 34. Oh, I'm seeing a 34. Where is it, though? Where are it at, though? I don't see a 34. Where is it? Huh. Where there's is it? One. There's not one on my end. It must be somewhere on my screen. Whoops. Almost ended the stream. Shit. <laughs> All right. 180. Nope. Damn. This is the least fun game we'll play tonight, I swear. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> nope. Damn. Nope. Did y'all see that shit? I clicked it on accident twice, but uh, the number that came up was the same number it had just picked. What? Yeah, yeah. It, it did it again, yeah. I caught it. I saw what happened. A lot of numbers nested really close to each other this game. Yeah, damn. What is going on here? I see some kind words in that chat, too. Thank you, guys. Y'all are the best. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on. Oh, this excited. is this is getting old. All right. I need to look through here. Yeah, there's a lot of sevens. This sucks. 70, 70, 77. We got to be like, pick a number 10 through yeah. 200. <laughs> Damn. It looks like every number but seven. This is crazy. All right, I don't see that shit. 182. Oh, I see that shit. Joshua yeah. Williams, my man, music man, glass, and yeah. you. Uh, get get me with a uh, a fresh address there, my dude. I think you already just got one, but I don't care, man. If you win a pack on this show, you win a pack on this show. We're not gonna be like, uh, the universe already blessed you. Gotta, some shit. Get out! You can't watch anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, hit, hit me up, player. I uh. We're gonna do that thing. All right. Well, cool. Let's uh, let's let's play some games now. There'll probably be some sticker packs in the gazanes. Now everybody that rolls up at the same time that short, uh, Torch Talk used to start, they're gonna be like, like what has Torch Talk become? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They just play games? Do they even talk about glass anymore? <laughs> do we do? All right. Let's pull up the uh, the Jackbox pack, as it were. All right. So Jackbox TV. Quite a few of you have been here and playing with us, so you might be familiar. What? Oh, whoops. What's, where'd the game go? What is happening? Uh-huh. And the game done vanished. Oh, Kai Jewel says, give away a torch shirt, shirt Mike. What? We're going to give away a torch tie-dye? Sounds like it. Is that what he said? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, while I'm waiting for my... Uh, I don't understand what happened there to the game. But we will pick another winner then. Because the homie is fucking generous as hell. All right. One more winner. Click to the Klizak. 47. Do we have a 47? No, we have a 147. Close, but no cigar. 57? I'm seeing two of those. Oh, Benjamin Fra Oh, wait. There's two of them. Who was first? Um. It looks like Doc Roberts was first. Yeah, Doc Roberts is at the top of my screen. Yeah, that's Doc Roberts, baby. That That's Doc Roberts, man. You guys definitely gotta, like, check for something. Make sure nobody else did that. I'm sorry, Benjamin teased you there but yo that's for doc roberts man get with uh kai the homie 
I mean, how about those those dyes, y'all? Let's just take one second. Yeah, these are sweet. Them shits are fucking awesome, for real. Kai dyes? Y'all, look at these. This one I, I thought was fucking incredible. Gorgeous. <laughs> Got my lady heated. Yo, check these <laughs> torch ones out. This shit's tight as hell. It's a CC. Right? Yeah? The original. That's awesome. Except no limitations. Got masks now, too. Look at that shit. Yeah, the homies got masks. You can be out there flexing. Anyways, I thought these are great. And, yo, know, these are really cool, too, man. These are, are with the homie Blue Sun Glass. And they're directly inspired by uh, the characters that he does. Which are fucking awesome. Each one of these, they're just, and they're so great. They are, they're all, they've all got their own personality. These are really cool. So, anyways, um, those are Kai dies. Yo, let me figure out what the heck is going on here. Why didn't Steam load properly? Mm. Yeah, I think uh, the game was like peace. Yeah, I think it's crashed on me. It's all good. I got this. Okay. Y'all think I don't know how to kill a process. <laughs> That's weird. It says exactly. suspended. Wouldn't have all right. to do with loading up the other computer in the basement, would it? No, no, no. Everything's good. Okay. Something just happened. I might have just clicked on the screen too much when I was trying to move it around up to the screen so we could play together. Gotcha. It's all good. We're going to do this. What game should we play first? I just going to say, what games does everybody want to play? All right, here we go. I like the fibbage enough about you. That one's always fun. All right, it worked. Sorry for the delay, guys. <laughs> All right. Enough about you. Let me tell you about me. Time to lie to one another. So this is a great game for getting to know more about each other. We're, yeah, well this, we'll just, we've been doing the one where you lie about yourself. We're, time to go back to the regular one. Oh. Okay. Yep. And there's your room code. So, M-U-B-Z. If you want to play, make sure you have yeah. either a beer. two windows open. Yeah, on. Carrie, tell them how to do this. Yeah, so one of those windows is going to be for watching the stream. The other window is going to be for opening up jackbox.tv and entering that room code M-U-B-Z. Now two screens could be a TV and a phone. It could be your computer and a phone. It would be your computer and a computer, so like two windows on your computer. If there were a bunch of people hanging out in the same room watching this, they could have the YouTube channel up on their TV and they could each have a controller on their phone. Yeah, awesome. So you can join in the audience as well. I'm in the audience with a couple other people, it looks like. All right. Looks like we're ready to do this. Hell yeah. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie. I'm also a son, a brother, and a partner. But first and foremost, I'm a storyteller. How oh, good an eight-player game. Maximum chance of misspelled words. Oh, <laughs> and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. Audience members try to spot the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Let's go. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. Okay, we don't have all day. Uh -oh. First question. 
In 1979, Winooski, Vermont, proposed building a protective dome that would cover the entire town. They thought this would help blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it now. Vermont, so they're probably trying to like create a whole hot box for the town. Cool <laughs> <laughs> our resources, everyone. Yeah, they're like, we're just <laughs> wasting quit. marijuana here, people. <laughs> Alright, now find the truth and select it on your device. What is it? Is it a condom? <laughs> Giant condom. Mm -hmm. Fresh air. That's my favorite type of air. Old people get out here. <laughs> Good one. I'm curious to know. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> oh God! Of yeah, course that didn't even make sense. But all right, <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> Good one, the news. Damn, I got the truth. And as okay. a bonus, all the dead birds okay. you could eat. Yeah, they're pulling their resources, and it has to do with burning things. <laughs> <laughs> a question for you. In 2017, Martha Stewart made the surprising confession that she has blank three times. Okay, enter your lies. You know, she'd be hanging out with Snoop. She's yeah. probably committed murder three times. Oh. Murder was the case or whatever. Right, yeah, she's got those three teardrops. That she has sipped on gin and juice three times. Oh my. <laughs> Is that what we call it? Sorry, use the light for me, button if you're stuck. <clears throat> Alright, pick the truth. <laughs> she kissed a girl three times. <laughs> a specific number and shit. Smoked weed or smoked marijuana? Been hit by lightning three times. That would be crazy. Driven, Driven a car <laughs> three times. That's pretty funny. <laughs> she has a dilly three times. <laughs> I'm gonna go full <laughs> Katy Perry here or whatever. Kiss the girl. That's when's it coming? Is it? I don't know. The original Katy Perry. Let's see what everybody selected. I kissed a girl, song by Katy Perry. Sorry, baby. Mm. Yep, you gotta get up on your girl kissing anthems. <laughs> Got you. I 
respect this answer as well. Good job, B. Great minds and such. Damn, Hanun. That was a good lie, dude. Good one. <laughs> I know what the audience wants. And they want to see Martha Stewart kiss the girl. Which one is and it? And you all missed it. What? And her hair stayed perfect. Dude, I don't know if I believe that one. The odds of that are... Martha Stewart is super trustworthy, though. Yeah, what the fuck? Is she like an X-Men or something? <laughs> She's been out gardening. Alright, choose a category. <laughs> I can't stop the show now. Here's uh -oh. the question. <laughs> I see we Talk bus. about a weird injury. In 1923, Boston Red Sox player Clarence Levin cut his butt cheek open when he slid mm -hmm. into second with blank in his pocket. All right, type in your lies. I think Martha just uses that term as like a euphemism for getting off on insider trading. There you go. In that case, she is... <laughs> lightning has struck a few times for her. I mean, she did a little time and all, but that just gave her street cred. That's why she hangs out with Snoop all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Hurry! Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. Razor in his pocket. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> A box of suppositories. Last <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Why would he have any of these in his pocket? Most of these items everybody in the 20s had in their pocket. While he was playing baseball? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. All right, who picked what? <laughs> good lie, good lie. Got me, Kamisha. bit him in the ass, but, well, <laughs> too late. Man, you motherfuckers had bad teeth back then. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. Get ready for round two, where all the points are doubled. Now point your eyes at this thing. It's time to look at The title of this French lithograph is simply blank. Write your lies now. the lie for me button. Okay, seek the truth. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> this story again. 
It was like during the 1918 plague and shit. Human misery. Oh, there's some really good ones here. Constipation. <laughs> Free tree. Let's see what you guys picked. If they fooled you. <laughs> Damn, good lie, good lie. in wallet size. <laughs> University honor code, students need a letter from a doctor in order to blank. Enter your lies now. I'm like a first responder for the soul. One's the truth. For fornicate. <laughs> There's either fornicate or full fornicate. <laughs> I was gonna say masturbate. Oh, were you? <laughs> but I, I didn't want to. Faux fornicate. Faux yeah, fornicate. Faux faux fornicate. A bo 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 fornicate. Or something. Uh. <laughs> did people pick? <laughs> That's a good that one, That was Max. a good lie. Got a lot of it. <laughs> good one, Tokisha. It's like just weird enough to be believable. I like it. It's all part of the affordable hair oh act. My. Thank you. The motherfuckers are crazy, yo. That's, that is crazy. It must all be right. an outdated. I tried to throw it away, but I just can't help but win. Sorry. Select the category. <laughs> Your status revoked. <laughs> And the question is, <laughs> hmm, in 2007, stupid. Scotland spent 125,000 pounds on a new <laughs> tourism campaign. The result was the enticing slogan, I... blank. Type in your lies now.
Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. <laughs> Heard from the homie Benjamin. It says, I've been playing the same number for the last month. I like that. Yeah, it's like, okay, gotta do it like a lottery go. or whatever. Find the truth. Sounds like my dad and his Kino numbers. Yeah, and then the week you don't play is when you see it get picked. Nope, that's right. <laughs> a kilt full of possibilities, that's amazing. <laughs> a paradise. That goes along, that's where you f fornicate. Fornicate the paradise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Scotland. I like that. Yeah. It's uh, original. Hey, at least it's not a Lock, stock, and barrel. That's pretty clever, though. I gotta give it up for that. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> Motherfucker. It was a good one, though. <laughs> I know. Damn. <laughs> oh, come on. What? I'm saying it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's also the new slogan for Torch Talk. <laughs> well, there's too many head. Torch memes. I'd be like, hey, at least it's not Afghanistan. I spent a... 125,000 pounds. Welcome to Scotland. It really was welcome to Scotland? Yep. Damn. I no need to thank me. Whatever. <laughs> <Welcome to laughs> final fibbage. Ah. It's your last chance at points, and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. Beats Nebraska. When a pet cat, cat died in ancient name. Egypt, its owners had a weird way of mourning. They would <laughs> blank their blank. Uh -oh. Okay, enter your lies. Shit, speaking Hurry, of the Patreon, for me, but if you're stuck. look like somebody just went from the, the Hunger Fun packs down to Torch Pass, so there might actually be one slot open on the actual packs okay, where you get Millie and everything and, the and color samples. Those are a crazy deal. Those There's like a waiting list, so this is y'all's chance to jump on there ahead of the, before I tell people on the waiting list. <laughs> Kill their servants. <laughs> That's what you gotta do when they be all fornicating on the jijab. <laughs> In paradise. Let's see how things shook out. Good lie, good lie. Oh. Bad pick, pro crap boss. <laughs> Sorry, dog. <laughs> Pretty sure that's why the crazy cat lady next door draws hers Ooh, on. Ever heard of such a thing? Damn, man, the rich get richer. Oof. All right. Well, whoever was in second place.
you can shoot me a thing at mikemason at gmail.com. I'll get you a sticker pack. I really appreciate everybody sticking around, play games with us, man. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a weird mix, but this is exactly what I would do with you homies if I got us together in a room in person, you know? We'd, we'd watch some dank glass get melted or whatever, and, and then we'd play some games together and have a drink or whatever, you know? I don't know about this game. Carrie betrayed me last time. <laughs> Guess I'll be in the audience. All right, room code, new room code. Damn, I forgot to do the fucking thing. What's that? Oh, the three letters. Yeah. I Make my name sex. like sex or 069 or something cool. Not Mick. Damn it. <laughs> I'll be your cow. They call me Mick. <laughs> they call me Mickey Blows Glass. Yeah, man, the homies are showing up. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, the mix I affectionately call torch stock. <laughs> we really do uh, try and make it a fun experience, and you know, that's what I've always been trying to do with the the, the community, especially. Uh, and the shows, man, as it's always been a party, so I believe it's the kind of vibe we're trying We've got to bring. Big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no holds barred tournament, and your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering! How did Destroyer I'm lose that? the topic of our first Bracketeer devices now. That's an awesome grandma name. The most disappointing gift card to be given on your birthday. Enter your answers now. Type in the mm. best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. Uh, to MikeMasonGlass.com. You can join the audience and play along by going to <laughs> Jackbox.tv and entering the room code. It's actually MikeMasonDesign.com. <laughs> yes. Keep that design in there. Damn. Time's running out. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to sidle up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer <laughs> that will get the most votes, you can win some sizable bonus bucks. Oh, and don't forget, if you think the odds are stacked against your own answer, you can still get some cash by predicting the correct winner. I don't know if I'm going to come out ahead here, but it's like Amazon, but another country. <laughs> Time's running out. Anyways. Alibaba? No. Time's up at the prediction That's table. That's a good one, though. Let's dive into our DH first game. bracket. <laughs> what a showdown. Use your device to vote okay. on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. <laughs> Somebody's thinking of messages for a gift card, I see. <laughs> Only a few seconds left to vote. The human heart is a fickle beast. That answer pays out 20 prediction winners. Uh, Our next matchup. Uh, 
We're in sex world, and why is this a bad thing? I know, I was about to say. <laughs> the votes are not coming in fast. Wow, these are that bad. Just running out the clock now. Bend over and give me a kiss. Yo, I'm throwing in a $5 Starbucks card for whoever wins this game. <laughs> Swear to God, I got one sitting on the floor right now. <laughs> Apparently, it really is the worst gift card. <laughs> Why don't we see what's going on on the other side of the bracket? Oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this. Mm -hmm. The struggle is real. Y'all think I'm playing? Get those last second votes in now. <laughs> That battle gave me whiplash. <laughs> no one could have predicted this one. Uh. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Hmm. An upset in the making. The clock is running out on voting time. Talk about mm -hmm. an underdog tale. I, I. Nothing says I love you like money. If you guessed it. I think you should go to fat camp. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Rose is saying those are five times running out, tickets, but they have they have like thirty eight cents left on them. They might, I don't know. <laughs> That's time in the box. at the prediction After table. Moved. Let's jump back to our bracket for <laughs> round two. <laughs> Nothing has come easy so far for either of these answers. Damn. <laughs> the lead keeps changing hands. One of us five dollars to Forever Twenty One though. At least you get a coffee at Starbucks. Come Ooh, on. Come out on top. Right. What are you gonna buy at Forever Twenty One? I mean, maybe some of our audience is fifteen-year-old girls, but. More there. They probably have cool socks. We're just one match away from our finals. I could use that gift certificate right now. QVC? Get out of the way! No. Oh, fat <laughs> Take you out for a run. <laughs> <laughs> and now the final face off. What is the most disappointing gift card to be given on your birthday? Could this be a blowout? This one's looking over. We have our first winner. That's a good one. I love you, honey. You did it, NP. You won the game. Wow, what a bracket. Let's see how the score shook out. You get one gift card or two gift cards? No, no, no. It's who wins. The whole oh, thing. Oh, oh, the game's not over. That's right. You gotta change categories and such. If they had won with the five dollar Starbucks gift card thing, I perhaps would have given it to them. <laughs> no, no, no. It's for the whole game. It's time for the blind bracket. We'll start with just the category. Yeah, this is not my favorite game. Name any song. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. 
Alright, let's hope this works out. It's gonna be like, best song to play at your mom's funeral or something like that. I don't know how this game plays it. Time's running out. These are the members who are taking a dab instead of putting in an answer. Very can't think of one song. Wow, look at all these people. Let's see what this bracket is okay. really about. Right. Best song to help you get over a breakup. <laughs> Time to get in those predictions. Yeah. Okay, all right, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Hmm. Bye. Zer needs to uh, return to the keyboard. Come on, dog. Put down the rig. <laughs> Time's running out. That's time on the prediction table. Might have decided that Let's start with a bang. This is one for the ages. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the edge of my seat. Only a few seconds left to vote. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. That had more ups and downs than a roller coaster. Moving on to our next matchup. Only one can come out on top. <laughs> well, with a lack of voting going on. That's funny. Get those last second votes in now. <laughs> it doesn't get any closer than that. That sounds like a song you just like, sit around moping to. I'm trying to get into There's the sex room. if you predicted right? this one. <laughs> Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. I do. Uh, very Overwhelming support there. already. I'm not familiar with this uh, probably racist song. What is going on here? It's really going back and forth. You better hope you don't win with that shit. The clock is running out on voting time. Oh, that no. gave me goosebumps. Supposed to be on the wrong name. by Team America, they just spelled it wrong. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. I'm so ronery. Oh, okay, with Kim Jong-un or whatever, yes. Not a lot of votes yet. Only a few seconds left to vote. Definitively cranked that. I hope I don't ever have to break up with any of y'all, cause <laughs> I do not want to hear these songs. From Before the other we room. get on to round two, <laughs> it's time to make another prediction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cooking. <laughs> That's a great meme or whatever. Where it's like. Devil cancels fiddle tournament or whatever. <laughs> it's just not worth it right now. No, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Time's running out. <laughs> Devil cancels trip to Georgia or whatever. <laughs> oh, prediction table time is up. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. I, I don't want to be in a land anymore. This one's sick. No contest. Uh, 
I don't know. That's... Yeah. Come on. Maybe they're playing guitar. I'm just surprised. Yeah, if they're, I guess if you're the playing The finals are just a win away cool. from these next two answers. You can't all be Patrick Beck over here. Come on. Two answers <laughs> battle-tested with tough first-round matchups. <laughs> thought it would be this close. Oh, lonely, right? I'm so... Yeah, that's a good one. The clock is running out on voting time. Oh, I can play this game, too. Some heads were spinning on that one. A surprise win for some of our predictors. This final matchup will determine... What is the best song to help you get over a breakup? I can't believe Sex Room did not advance beyond the first bracket. This is... There'll be no sticker packs tonight. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> a real Mike tug of war! Place, no <laughs> get those last second votes in now. <laughs> We have a winner! Tra -tra -tra Travis! Let's check out that scoreboard! It's all been yeah. leading up to this. Time I'm barely beating the guy who left his keyboard. <laughs> this racket will change every cheese. single round. Let's start with a category. <laughs> Write any two words and place and or ampersand between them. Right, who knows what crazy words. twists and turns this bracket will take? What? Okay. Really? Any two words and place and or ampersand between them. Getting split. Alright. Time's running out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Best name for a law firm. Time to get in those predictions. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. Oh my. Yes. All right. This, this one finally could go my way. Probably not, but a man can dream. Time's running out. All cash is double this round. Time to it's step away from the prediction table. Sure. Up first. Mashy to classy. <laughs> These answers exchanged some harsh words at the press <laughs> conference. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. No. Well. The lead keeps changing hands. <laughs> Only a few seconds left to vote. Oh, split vote! Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. <laughs> the tie has been broken. Finally, we can go on with our lives. We'll bring the biscuits, you bring the gravy. Acid Mouth was technically the better answer, though, I gotta say. I did like that one. That was a good one. Next up. For the game. And for a law firm. Yeah, that's who I want to be represented by. <laughs> he's a total asshole, and he's got the biggest mouth in the industry. And upset in that's the why making. That's they call him Acid Mouth. <laughs> good one. Just he running out the clock now. Ah! 
Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm on a roll. Uh, there you are, baby. You are. <laughs> Let's see what's happening over on I the other side skull. of the bracket. <laughs> These answers faced off last year, but will the results be the same? Oh, man. Mm. That's a good one, Gin and Juice. Can't argue with that. I was singing that shit earlier. This one's what? looking over. It's a good, good callback for me. Everybody's like... Oh. Well, you can flip that flappity. Say anything Mike mentioned earlier in the show for guaranteed votes. Who bet against gin and juice? It's time to roll out the bracket. Reassess your decision matchup. The tree there. <laughs> Potential winner starts to emerge. Nice. No one thought it would be this close. I mean, really. Cat and mouse is pretty good, though, actually. The clock is yeah. running out on voting time. Fail on law firm. These two heavyweights went back and forth, but there can only be one victor. I don't see nothing wrong. With the little fucking Let's switch up this bracket. Best name for a Disney Channel sitcom starring a set of twins. Get those predictions in now. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like Pete Rose here. I'm betting against myself. <laughs> hey, you gotta know when, when, when you know. <laughs> Time's running out. That's time on the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. <laughs> hot and bothered on the Disney right. Channel. <laughs> Twins are hot and bothered. Oh, man. Only a few seconds left to vote. I think somebody's just hungry in the audience. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> this could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. It's a bracket like this that truly makes this game the sport of kings. I mean, really, which twins do you want to watch? The I am on the edge of my <laughs> seat. Or the ones that are bumping and grinding. Gin and juice is way better. I gotta Just get it running out the clock now. <laughs> Watch the drunk twins again. Any Yaka show on the Yaka Disney Yaka Channel. Is back. The liquor in the name has got to be fucking clutch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One last switch. Best diner speak slang for eggs and sausages. I hope your answers oh, no. still make sense. And now the final face off. <laughs> I'd like a hot and bothered, or I'd like a gin and juice. Oh no, <laughs> gin and juice. It's. Oh, I'd be hot and bothered. That's a good ass answer, man. Right? Yeah. I think the homies out there are learning to play this game along with me. Hot and they know it's going like to get flipped around and shit. It's got, it's got to <laughs> withstand multiple fucking possibilities. Like, That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see who won it all. <laughs> all right, man, get at me, dog. Travis Mike Mason at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna play something else. New game. Maybe even a whole new version of the game here. Let's close this bad boy out. You done? 
survive the internet. That's like daily on Facebook. Yeah, that was a weird one though. It was like a little drawn oh, out, it? as I recall. Yeah. I don't remember that one, but oh, I'm just my boy. commenting on the current state of of the world. Surviving the internet. It's everybody's game right now. Yeah, that's right. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, that's every fucking day now. It's ridiculous. All right, now, I, I'm, uh, man, I feel like somebody's going to be like, no, <laughs> but I feel no like. No sixth place prize, Mike? What? <laughs> what? Oh, in chat. Or he's like, no sixth place prize? <laughs> Astronaut. Wee. Yeah, Travis, it's MikeMason at gmail.com. That's right. I wish we could do You Don't Know Jack, but like there have been some games that we had trouble with, was that right? Yeah, the uh, the lag like gives people two yeah. seconds to pick an answer. Oh It's Carrie's favorite game. Are we rapping? It's the rap game. Well well. Looks like we're gonna have us a robot rap battle. Robert says saying panda, panda, panda. <laughs> right, room code. always entertaining to watch this. Yo, check it out. I love all my MCs, but y'all gotta back up. I'm not about to be a statistic down here. DJ Rach, tell him how we get down up in here. Hey, yo, 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 can we get these robots up out of here? All right, shout Okay. All right, We're you guys on. know what to do. Hey, it's like Mad down. Libs, and Thanks then you make me. raps. We doing this. Robots are no robots. Let's get it. All right, all my hip hop heads, we need you to write a word or a phrase. Then an entire line that rhymes with the one that we give back to you. You gotta do that twice. Now, if you need help, just use that suggestion <laughs> button. right now your controller is going to show you the screen where you can click on these buttons and we're going to tear down this town. Left. Go, 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 go. Okay. 
can use right for me to have us fill in your line. So I'm trying to keep up with the, the time remaining in the chat room so you guys can see. Actually, only like 20 seconds at the time of, that I'm saying this, but by the time you hear it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Damn. Here are the first matchups. Check it out, all my hip hop heads. We got the first two robot battle rappers ready to go. So let's get it in. Players, be two. sure to give props or mm. tell them if they whack by using your devices. Learn the ancient secrets of the lamp wickers. You can imagine how the rest would go. <laughs> I got it secret arms <laughs> like an octa tank. <laughs> I wash all my dishes in the kitchen sink. Hmm? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, okay, all okay. right, that's cool. It's time for you to come back. Show them your strength. I just stopped by on my way to the slum. Drazzled. <laughs> the name of my game is Rap Till I Collect. Oh, wait, but you that's so trapped. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Crowd's I know you can do better than that, though. Sorry, All right. Alicia. Now you gotta use your devices to find out who's gonna make it and who's gonna get slayed. But I'm glad that the bar has been set kind of right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think Beaver pretty rocked it. Let's get those votes in. Uh, one of them worked, one of them seemed like it. I didn't really get it. Right, yeah, maybe new to the game. Getting, getting their rap battle yeah. game. Played. We're getting warmed up. Yeah. Good job, good job. Congratulations. <laughs> hey man, please don't step on me. Where my MC's at? Come on and get down. Let's get it started. I just got appraised. I'm worth 10,000 cadmiums. <laughs> I boil so easy. Oh, shit. The math checks out. I'm 100%. I look so Ooh. fresh. <laughs> Dripping in blast. That was okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Get ready. Dripping in glass behind him and shit, you know. Vote <laughs> down to me the president of the Chicago. And lost, hmm. so I shall now go. Ooh. Gather round, I'm about to get fast. L is for loser who sits all alone. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. We heard that. Let's keep it moving. Let's right now is the time to robot high heels. start clicking that button. <laughs> Damn, so this one's a toss-up. I got to do the thing where I go back and forth and just close my eyes. At the end of the game, it gives you this option to share your dope rhyme. So you click that button and it like gives you this cute little image of your character and your rhyme. Just saying, if anybody is really proud of their rhyme at the end of the game. <laughs> Save that. Yeah, all right, Kanye. Um, Here's your win. <laughs> Congratulations, Shorty. Good job. Okay, all right. Where my two MCs at? Let's go. Oh. I'm so hot, I got sponsored by Fizzy Poke. It up no joke, I like to toke. <laughs> the one thing I love more Stepping than farming is liquor. Yes, yes, <laughs> and jelly. Okay, okay. <laughs> Right. Apparently the milk, bread, and jelly have come more liquor than <laughs> rhyme. My flow's my superpower. Call me Captain Blithesome. Smoking on this fire. No, you cannot get some. Ooh. I rise to new heights. I'm a master artist. Come back. Run with Ooh. ambition and go the farthest. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That was okay. Wasn't the best I heard, but it wasn't the worst either. Yeah, check it out. Now it's time to use your devices to vote on who brought it stronger. I gotta vote against this dude just so I don't happen to have to battle him later and shit. What? I'm that is... <laughs> that sounds pretty Weasley. You gotta get them votes <laughs> in. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right now, you're our winner. Congratulations. All right, next two robots. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. 
I'm so good it's scary call me MC Zombie. When you're on the torch they call you MC Sloppy. That's true, <laughs> my ego has its own Delta mag. Did you hear that? Anybody call it Delta? I'll be kissing you there. <laughs> what? Thank y'all. Let's keep moving. Boom. Now uh, it's your turn. Let's get it in. Eat that. <laughs> When I say, hey, all the people shout, homie, don't play that word. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> My verses come straight from the bounce. Just like a fat ounce. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, word, cool, that's dope. Now let's keep it moving. The battle is over. It's time for you to pick up your devices and vote. Get more alcohol so I can rap better. Okay. <laughs> Time to vote. Here's your winner. Courtesy clap. Now let's keep it moving. Round one is over. Let's keep it moving. We got some more rounds to go. Let's go ahead and check the scores. All right, y'all, writing time. Follow the instructions on your device. Here we go. <laughs> Damn, I'm missing the time. You are. You're In and out, okay. Rhyme for me to have us fill in your line. Yo, we ain't got all day. All right, all right, I'm in this one. Oh, yeah. Here's the undercard and man. Oh no, they put me two. up against my Somebody dog. Better come get this money. Y'all ready for the first battle? Let's get it in. Sorry for what's gonna happen, man. <laughs> Come on, Your thrift store items are second hand fronts. Why? <laughs> second hand. Now run home and cry in your sloppy joke. <laughs> you won't you know me, you blow <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. I also Appreciate have to do you. the like the Vortex, Migos thing, you know, down. when it'd be like, why in the background? You're too weak to use a cell phone. Just pick up one and get real stoned. It doesn't help that you're not very sunshine. 
Did you know you can have Jackbox rhyme? I did. <laughs> that actually rhymed, yo. All that right, works. Right, thank you, thank you. Now we gotta funny. move on. Time to vote, y'all. Who brought it and who did? <laughs> it's a lucky connect with the little Jackbox do it for you. Yes, it was. But I can't hate. Hit the vote hate. button. Pick somebody. Gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you get lucky. And sometimes you don't. <laughs> okay, good job. Good job. We got your winner. Uh, hey, man. Come on. Watch where you step. John catching next on Next match. Next battle. <laughs> Is it true you prepare by listening to Bob Snodgrass? <laughs> he likes to go hard while melting at a hot glass. Next MC. I, mean, I like the trust building exercise aspect of it, but <laughs> thankfully they only have to see your face for a short period of time most of the time, I guess, huh? Folks, please try the veal. When I look at you, I see an empty box. I popped then I locked and now can't find my keys. Yeah. Uh, I check. I don't know that was the whack cat. Stood up and to NP's furious rivalry. <laughs> Did you forget the vote? My next two robots at. Let's do this, y'all. Tons of shaking visions getting stuck. Why are all your pipes looking jack? I don't care about you or your pipes. Good luck finding toilet paper for that ass. Ah, shit. Oh, oh. Yeah. Beaver's a natural at this game. Your turn. Yeah. You're ready. That was good. That was good. I'm here all day. Hope you brought a paintbrush. You will want to make a masterpiece of all this greatness. Mm. I'm coming for you, so you best be wondrous. Run out of rhymes like you run out of cannabis. Well, that's hot. <laughs> Alright, thanks, thanks. Now we gotta move on. The battle is now officially over. Use your devices and figure out who it is that was the dopest MC. Mm. Yeah, I think people are warming up to this game, Carrie. Only time, exactly right, right now. <laughs> Takes time to get used to it. But... Yeah. <laughs> this one's great, though. I it's love it. Shit. This is where all you, you okay, all folks get to shine. Now it's time for the next match. Entertain me. Where my two battle is at? Make me laugh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Has its verdict. You are guilty of vapid. It's kept for me, y'all, to feed me rabbit. Vapid. Nice work. My game is rhymes, no game is shoots and ladders. <laughs> Not here candy land with stank on platters. Ooh. Nice, right, very nice. Right. Thank you, you thank you. Here. You know you gotta answer that. Put some weights on them muscles and get them words out. A rhyme for a rhyme, all you're giving is bubble trash. <gasps> I bling like die grow coated in diamonds. Did you hear that? Oh, this is a tough one. With Illuminati five hundred dollars on this round. What? Nice work. Okay, now it's over. Who's the dopest rapper? I'd vote for Hanun. He sounds like he's got some money riding on this. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you gotta get them votes in. Travis, thanks for getting me your uh, address. You did win. Yes. Good job. Good job winning the game. Okay, here's your winner. Congrats. Oh shit, I won. I'm sorry, Hanun. I should not have coming. put money against your boy. 
<laughs> now let's check out the numbers. Let's see who winning this right now. <laughs> Damn, B Ever <laughs> ran the table All right, with now that. Now it's time to get the lyrics rhyme. flowing. The you gotta get in struck. them and so let them have it. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, so for you to <laughs> those of you that are plan and are concerned about how much time is left, the counter doesn't really show it, so I'm popping up the time at intervals in chat, if you're concerned. There's about, <laughs> about 30 second lag. <laughs> oh, are you having fun over here? Can't yeah. This one. <laughs> I, I took a risk on the word and, and I got hooked up. <laughs> Alright, nice. Tough word to fucking rhyme though, shit. You got about a minute left, think in type. Remember to use that right for me button if you're coming up blank. You're running out of time, dog. Okay, I should have thought better before putting round. that word Lots in, but it was so funny. On the line. <laughs> you ready to go? Let me hear you get at him. It's funny you think I'm a bad rapper. Something, something, <laughs> I'm the best. You're not good. On your knees before I get crazy. Oh, it's place with white as snow. Mm. All right, peace and love. Let's move on. Yeah. It's your turn now. That's how you do. Let me get you a pussy. I hate to say it, but you're a big wussy. Did you mess up? Damn. Should I call the street walker? You need to watch that TV show with JJ Walker. What's the show with JJ Walker? <laughs> okay, work. Cool. That's dope. Now let's keep it moving. Ding, ding. The bell has rang. Vote to see who was the dopest MC. I think Ndisu's abstract rhymes were actually the more effective. No, just mine. Time to <laughs> vote. Elegant. Okay. Alright, come on, mouse. <clears throat> ding, ding. We have gotten our winner. Congratulations. Hello. <laughs> It's time for our next battle, so we need the next two cats to step up and get down. I'm falling asleep. Your verses are monotonous, and my MC name is DJ Downvote. You're so wrong, you think you're the best. Everyone clap your hands and act like this right. Damn. Give it up, give it up for that the tape major in the background. Grab the mic, yo, it's on you. Or, or beta tape. I can't hear what you say, I'm deaf to freaky dreams. I don't fear what you say, I'm fresh to freaky memes. Quit looking at me, my face so smithereens. Nice. 
spit twerking at me like him in a school of sardines. Damn! Whoa! Oh. Right. Catching on. Yeah. Right. Well, round okay, round three is, is your round. You gotta use your device. <laughs> Alicia called her neighbor in who raps or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need you to play this game. Let's get those votes in expedition. <laughs> trying to win a sticker pack. Yeah. <laughs> Give me all the stickers. I'll share the stickers with you. <laughs> That was conspicuously good. You know what you're doing, you know how you're doing, and it's done. You won. Next two robot battlers. Let's get it in. I feel bad for you, cause here comes my Mike Mason. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your rhymes got me sleeping. Need my back and a night cap. You'll get your head right back. <laughs> that was okay. Wasn't the best I heard, but it wasn't the time. worst either. You got an answer for that? Come on now, you gotta come strong with it. You look like you came from a botched colonoscopy. I waved the Ooh. one to surrender. You get oh my. in the grand opening of the triple three. You won the rap battle, but I win the rap wall. <laughs> okay, all right, that's cool. Damn. This is, right, this is a tough one. Time. Let's make it happen. I don't deserve it on that one. I fucking was just cracking up and trying to pull an Oscar. Come on, I've gone, gone wrong. That first laugh was so goddamn funny. I was just like, couldn't think of anything that rival pull an Oscar be. Come on, Oscar P. You can't handle me. I'm a straight G. From the hood, can't you see? Good Anyways. job, good job. Congratulate. No. Hey, so there's watch really no good rhyme for colonoscopy, as you can see. <laughs> Woo, I'm glad you all stuck around for the main event. It looks absolutely fine. Is fire. there another round? Do I have more chance? No? no. <laughs> Any more chance for redemption? Yeah, no. It ain't me. That's slow and damp. Simple. Why does your spoon look like a popped pimple? Oh! Oh, you're missing it. Oh! Now start back and relax. And light that torch. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. We had to let him off because that first one was so on. brutal. Yo, where the next <laughs> yeah, body? Yeah. Get your gears in gear. You might make a good personal fry cook. There's a surplus of potatoes, so let's seat up. You oh. need to realize you're only good at eating. I want to hear mm. the robot sale cap kitch club to please the mask. I, I, Yo, I, that's, that's yeah. Uh, Something it's happened time to pick somebody round. to vote for. Let's get that those was hot votes though here. when he made the robot say that crazy shit. I respect where he was coming from with that. Items are good. Hit the voting button. Pick somebody. <laughs> Damn, man. Tough times. Everybody voted, and we got our winner. Congratulations, <laughs> yo. Good job, MCs. That was hot. But now we got to see who won this. Yeah, that was great. Okay, You're okay. Nice Get at me, Check dog. Mike Mason at gmail.com. Hailing from the west side of Chicago. You already know Ooh, what it is. That was, we that was a good game. Piece. That was fun. That was fun. I want to play it again, but... So here's that portion of the game that I was talking to everybody about. Click down to that. Click here and, and share your oh, share your rhymes. It disappeared for me. Oh well. Patently stupid, eh? Right. I think we gotta jump into another version of the game. We got all kinds of Jackbox party packs. Hmm. There's a new one coming, you guys, in the fall. There's some older ones, too. I'm just not certain they'll be as good for playing <coughs> online together. But there will be new games coming in the Party Pack 7 in the, in the fall. They're already, like, previewing some of them online, so... All right. 
There we go. Room code. I'm going for all the craziest ones. <coughs> Amateur comedians, eh? I'm sorry, I already I already used all my best lines tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard! I'm Chuck Hull, your e captain and host for the evening. Go ahead and sign in. <laughs> That's a funny character. Quick, before the ship leaves the dock! Oh. Quick, before the ship leaves the dock. Sure, I'm gonna take a break for a second. All right. Who came to join me, y'all? It's Big Pearl. Still in the game. It's Let's move it, people. All right, let's do this. Comedians, here's tonight's itinerary. We're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage. But first things first, it's brainstorming time. Before we jump into the jokes, let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired. On your device, you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals, people, or objects. Fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke, you'll get some bonus points. Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting now. Okay, time to wrap things up. Now that your noggin is moving at full steam, it's time to write some comedy. Follow the steps on your device to construct two jokes. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
certainly have a lot more time than I should have taken. If you haven't started your second joke yet, now would be the time. Time's almost up. Good reef. We've corralled mm, some great nice. comedy for you. Were made of shit. <laughs> I feel so empty inside. Please give it up for our first comic. We'll, we'll see if your second answer that didn't make it keeps up with my lame answer. <laughs> that was done way too soon. I feel your pain, Leisha. I feel your pain. Oh my. For your favorite joke now. Damn. Yeah. And some credit to you. This is a club where the uh, bar is set way low. <laughs> you know him, you love him. It's this, <laughs> it's this person. This <laughs> person. These Tito's Beetle Toad, Beetle Toad, Red Hill. Me, me, Toad, Beetle Toad. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and his tagline. <laughs> yeah, got a pretty good tagline there. Oh, too appropriate. Squad one e bali city a v bal. Two a can be a two wall. Which comedian told a better joke? Tip of the hat to you. Nice, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Let's keep this joke boat moving and welcome our next comic to the stage. NP. Bring it. Woo! Because you too. I got it. The YouTube right here for you, Carrie. Okay. Oh yeah, give me the extra guacamole. Mm-hmm. Ready, boy, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not certain I understand the scooters one, but. Somebody did. There you go. And how about some points Maybe for you as well? <laughs> Let's keep it going for our next comic. Uh oh. Remember to say your catchphrase. My nickname is Climate Change. Because I'm more full of hot air every year. Oh. <laughs> good one, baby. Good one. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I don't know if mine was gonna compete with that, but. <laughs> Why are they called clowns? And not scary monsters. It's tragedy time. Ooh, I'm just <laughs> Well, we definitely know that Mike is more full of hot air than Carrie is full of scary puns. Oh, oh. baby, how <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, vote for me. Yeah, definitely. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, did you see they caned me off the stage? Yeah, sorry, baby. Great just setup. got like soul trained or whatever. <laughs> Sandman. Here's another comedian, whether you like it or not. Oh, too funny. <laughs> mm. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, good one. <laughs> Comic needs an introduction. I'm a long tie to me. Delay while mall giant. That was good. That was good. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. That's Damn, these are both so good. I don't know. Tough. I gotta go with the, the one that has my damn name in it, so. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Getting all choked up. I am, I am. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Oh. Make some noise for our next comic. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there we go. God created Scientologists by putting Mormons even further in the closet. Oh. <laughs> it's not your dad's DNA, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> hey, I work with what I was given, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was good. That's good. 
<laughs> we we all like the Bluetooth and the mic, you know. Yeah, it's true. It's true, but you're all dead to me. Nice assist! <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Our next comic needs no introduction. I see. <laughs> when I was a kid, we didn't have influencers. We had show-offs. <laughs> ah, boom. It's tragedy time. <laughs> Catchphrase is so uplifting. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the rhyming game was the best. <laughs> Try the diarrhea. <laughs> I think Leisha thought it was still the rapping game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spot on for the rhymes, though. Best thing about socks is you won't get chicken pox. I'm hot, like, trying to drop the cock. It's bedtime game, you know? It's a bedtime song. <laughs> Let's play a little shuffleboard. If you're at the top, yeah. that means you're the headliner Harris right now. at the bottom. Yep, me and my <laughs> cheesy <know>. jokes. <laughs> I, I, I was... Mathematical proof carry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was feeling pressure. I didn't realize how much time I just answered really quick. <laughs> well, we're sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, here's the plan. Let's rewrite another comics joke. You'll use the same setup, but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? Let's find out. Kill that parrot. The real tragedy would be not finishing the show. So let's bring back our comics. <laughs> Did they successfully beat this joke? Vote now. So much room there, so much room there. Yeah, yeah. It's a good time to have a tight ride now. <laughs> right. 
Hamsra Udu Tahao Swaha Tua Ia Tu Diver Ukwal Dida Tua Mal Bi A Oh my A real clash of the titans This other one rhymes too. I know, right? Every time I eat beans, I need a new pair of jeans. Do you know what I mean? Lobsters throwing roses. Tell me, Michael, stop rapping, please. Explain. When I was a kid, we didn't have influencers. We had Jerry Springer fight champions. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Just so you know, you're not, not gonna get as many points there because my joke flopped. So. What? I, no, that joke was so good. I'm fortunate <laughs> that I have to go against it. <laughs> One member of the audience, like, has a crush on care like, oh, nope no I can't go with that Mike <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your support <laughs> I want to open a store that only sells rods and call it last and paradise last time paradise I'm g voting okay. for you, but on, but you're very lucky you had... <laughs> it's not fair, because Doc could have sung the song that his joke made a <laughs> reference to as Coolio 2, you know what I'm saying? Sing it for us. I'm not going to substitute for Doc. You know. <laughs> Stop my place. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Still supporting Doc? <laughs> wow. Doc's sticker pack is uh, going to be lost in the mail. I have a funny feeling. Uh, I know. I'm just playing. <laughs> nasty little hat. I, I just... <clears throat> the setup, there's an issue with the whole setup of that. Joke. Yeah, I'm about this little snatch talk. I mean, come on, man. Are we sexting or are we making jokes here? What's going on? Snatch yeah, more hat. You don't... <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Damn, he went there. Oh no! <laughs> You've seen Leisha's Twitter. You know what you were in for when you came to the show. What? I'm just saying, you know, everybody complains about comedians, but then they make the same jokes all day, you know, and they're like, I don't know, we're gonna do that. Okay, all right. <laughs> Wait, Leisha has a Twitter? <laughs> if she doesn't, she should start one now as this character who makes jokes right? in the show and raps. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> I like the spelling there. Minor. Minor, yeah. <laughs> Me my recent uh, meme it didn't go over so hot but I'm telling you man they were influenced by minecraft i believe when they designed these torches <laughs> no i mean that came out way later it just made me laugh because they're all fucking blurry and sh or boxy rather you know they even have a square face on one of the torches and shit so they like blocks and squares like 80s cars Speaking of the minor burner, we we had this joke 
because we saw on Cameo, that site where you can have select, like, I guess the joke started because Bob Dog, the homie, was like having all these people do a fucking cameo thing for him, you know, where they'd be like, Bob Dog, at the fucking Dream oh, Shack, right, they right, killing yeah, it, yeah. nah, nah, nah. And we saw that, uh, that, uh, what was his name, Chris, Chris Matthews was on there. The dude with the show about fucking where they, you know, big bus pedophiles and shit. To catch oh a, what is it, to catch a predator, right? Only one of you can well, get a life vest. We were joking, me and a homie, man. Ah. Wow. Yeah, nice job, Alicia. Hell yeah. Ah. Alicia, hit me with an address and I'm going to get you a sticker pack. Okay, anyways, the joke. We were going to get uh, Chris to be like, uh, like, fucking... <laughs> Nortel owners, <laughs> would you please have a seat? I hear that you're often seen with a miner. Because <laughs> they got the, you know, the miner burner on top, right? Like, anyways, that was gonna, we were going to totally pay Chris Matthews like 120 bucks to make a Red Max joke insinuating <laughs> that, 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 that. But it was just too far. Like, So I'm just going to joke about it on the show, but... You guys know that would have been like the funniest thing ever, right? So <laughs> I guess that's good enough for me. But I'm telling you, I'm still tempted to do it. Because for like 200 bucks, he will fucking make that Red Max joke. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. All, all those jokes are in good fun, you know? We're not really trying to fucking make fun of Nortel, man. Those are dope, you know? Like, for the money, they're incredible. And the design is cool. Like, it just. It's just fun to make jokes about him, you know what I'm saying? All right, anyways, uh, all right, you know what time it is. Trivia murder party, oh, always yeah. a good one. We still somehow haven't gotten through all the questions on this game yet. Jackbox.tv room code V O P X. One more, one more, one more. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. You gonna do it? It's me. Maybe. There we go. All right. Y'all can still join the audience. Just type that code in. You're a little behind. Make sure you scroll your thing over to the... The local residents are familiar button. with the abandoned building's history. Know it simply as the murder hotel. <laughs> the infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to <laughs> Beaver says this is the first time he's got Torch Talk Live. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Welcome to the party, dog. Yeah. <laughs> This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. And that one survivor better leave this hotel a glowing review online. I will not be screwed over by TripAdvisor again. Okay, first question. What does the V in V8 engine mean? Hmm. Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> Almost out of time. And homies are playing just... Is, oh, who sorry. got the question right? What? The rest of you, Seriously? it's time. 
going to say, just watch your phones, because those will, or your phone, or whatever screen is getting the answers that might be ahead of the stream. So always watch that. Ah, the old skewers trick. I did not know that. That's crazy. Pick a space is, inside the box to shape. hide. That's just silly talk. I wish I had a magician's assistant for this, but oh well. It's an illusion. A trick. <laughs> choose now, or I'll choose for you. Looks like some people didn't think it was necessary to hide. I guess I'll just put you here then. Now I'm gonna need some volunteers. I'm giving you a very sharp sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Gee, I wonder where they're hiding. <laughs> Stab, stab! How was right. that entertaining? Oof. Jeez. Wow. Good job, everybody. Hell yeah. This elevator's a real death trap. For real, though. Can be hit by more swords than not. Mm. Yeah. Carrie giving up the secrets of the game. Let's uh, try another one. Luckily. If winds are blowing at about 131 to 155 miles per hour, what do we have? Time's almost up. <laughs> Who picked this? Motherfucker. The rest of you, follow me. Welcome back to the killing room. It's tattoo time. <laughs> Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. I kind of feel dangerous now. I mean, more dangerous. Now vote for your favorite design. The artist with the fewest votes will die. <coughs> He's really struggling with this tattoo. <laughs> vote already. <laughs> What did we decide? Yay. Well, at least tattoos aren't permanent. What? They are! My only <laughs> consolation is punishment. <laughs> Don't worry. You're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Which of these people patented Wait, a ballet shoe? Are permanent? How come I didn't get any points for like the answer? Time's running out. Guess I just didn't die. <laughs> Who picked this? That'll what? teach you. The rest of you who are still alive, what the fuck did he do I want to show you something. 
Good news, right, it's math. <laughs> Do as much math as you can Mike's before time be runs out. The, the worst math leak will be punished. This is your. This is your. Let's go, game, Mike. Math. I don't understand what's going on here. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. Don't be distracted by me talking right now. Only time for one or two more bits of math. Shouldn't have said anything. I could have Looks like you were outmathed. Yeah, I didn't even notice. I, I was off of Googling the Bill Nye thing in the beginning. <laughs> Normally I fucking slay this game. I'm also very high and very drunk, so. That's My easier. cast total reflects that. <laughs> you don't need to make excuses, baby. <laughs> we're here. When one player is left alive, no, I mean my real life the cash final round. Reflects that. Next question. Spend all my money on weed and alcohol. What color are the leaves of my beautiful birch trees as they swirl in the autumn breeze? If you're in the audience, you need to answer too. I'm playing. I love you. That was good. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that should have been a topic last game. <laughs> The game's confused. I thought it was the rap game here. Time's too. almost up. <laughs> Who picked this? Time for consequences. You know what? I just want to play Quiplash. What are you doing over there? The game will send a question to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. This timer is a little longer, and I'm letting everyone know, so if you don't write anything good, they know it's your fault. Let's see those quips. Forget ghosts and vampires. It turns out the real monster is blank. All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player that gets the fewest votes dies. <laughs> Last chance to get your votes in. Let's see the votes. Damn. Nobody like Doc's answer. Sorry, Doc. Whiplash! I love you, Doc. Oh, also, there's an audience in the game. If they survive, you die. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience, whatever. It's like super low pressure. Let's try another one. What British TV show is Dancing with the Stars based on? What? Dance, England. Dancing with the Stars. Strictly come dancing. Mm -hmm. Well, damn, I don't even know now. Right? But dancing with the stars would have just been across the board. <laughs> Almost out of time. Mm -hmm. Who picked this? Yeah, all right. Come with me. <laughs> Let's play with spooky dice. 
Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. Oh. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Oh. <laughs> You busted. <laughs> Thank you for getting blown up. It makes me so happy. <laughs> you busted. I got lucky. <laughs> oh, you'll get lucky. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> Which of these do you actually cook? I'm a bum that Thinking about it, like tuna pokey recipe. Some of that tuna we got just recently. Time's running out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who picked this? I want to show you something. My mic's been off for a minute. No, it hasn't. You can hear me, but the, I don't know when the homies can. Now we learn Maybe obedience. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, well, I will kill you. Interesting conversation on their end. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh. Rules, am I right? Rule time is coming to an end. Well, now I'm mad at everybody. Clickety clack. <laughs> If you had a guess, do you think everyone playing the audience right now was a total dum-dum? Or are there like two or three smart people in there fighting against a tide of wrong answers? <laughs> huh? We may never know. <laughs> Let's try another one. Uh, where does cinnamon come from? My time to shine. Oh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's good pause. Time's on the stop. Daily affirmations with Mike. Who picked this? Yeah. Thought so. As, as. It's time. Works. You know, as a kid, we used to have these pieces of cinnamon, like Are you bark, ready to you know? Fall? And we just my chew on them and shit. I was like, mmm. You're going to drop down That's this board and try to avoid <laughs> okay. the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make wow. it no bueno. Hurry along. If someone dies in your death zone, you get a prize. Good luck, Max. So much for group participation. I'll do it myself. Okay. <laughs> Let the games begin. Ever heard of chaos theory? Oh, oh, well, this oh, is chaos oh, fact. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. I see you've landed in a death zone. You're dead. You busted. Damn, I'm tantalizingly close to the lead. Mm -hmm. 
But Eva, Let's you're going moving. down, player. <laughs> Who invented the first electronic computing machine in 1822? Steve Wozniak, definitely. Tommy Flowers, for show. <laughs> Sounds like a gangster <laughs> nickname or whatever. That's old Tommy Flowers. He kills you and then sends flowers to your wife. Time's running out. <laughs> Who picked this? Your boy did. Only a ghost got it wrong. Well, that sucks. This motherfucker bitch. Let's try another one. Really trying. He said, where there is love, there is life. No. That's Carrie. Oh, or Abba. <laughs> Almost out of time. Who picked? This. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers. Time for consequences. Not, not Abba. <laughs> Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Write your answers now. <laughs> Talking about Poland. Mm. You're not supposed to tell anybody because then if they guess the same one, you don't get anything. But yeah, Poland. Everybody should go with Poland. Maybe I just <laughs> said that to fuck with everybody. Or, or Puerto Rico or. Answer Atlanta. time is coming to an end. <laughs> Good way to make sure nobody else Now, gets let's see if there are any matches. See wow. Oh, look at all Skated of that. through. Wow. Let's BS. Smart. Sorry for cursing. Uh, no, I was just drawing a blank on anything else. Like, please, all I can this think is of is This is taking covered. forever. And I still need to hose the place down before my next <laughs> guests arrive. Let's speed this up. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you can hold your breath! What? Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. Pick the right key before you drown. How the fuck are you supposed to know? Know what? Which key unlocks your tank? Oh, pick one. Luck. Luck? Right. Damn. Frustrating, right? Maybe Choose another key. Actually, some sort of infographic that shows you something. Wow, you're really yeah, bad at finding the right key. On One last chance. Got it. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Water, such a way to go. Girl. I almost thought I had the cover. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? Here's going gonna to take that sticker pack too, you guys. Don't don't think. <laughs> Sesame Street residents. <laughs> Tap each answer that fits the category and let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Oh, that's cute. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. 
and they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Does the audience know they can play this part? Contains peanuts. It's a serious game. I don't have any humorous comments anymore, except for the <laughs> Ever can suck it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the audience can play Former right now. British colonies. Are you afraid of the dark? Charlie Chaplin films. Time is almost up. <gasps> that this ghost can smell your life force. Dangerously close. Time to make friends <laughs> with darkness. I'm my life. Both of us are like, we're Four gonna kill this guy. What the fuck is this, it's, man? This is all, like, totally changed to go against me. Like, the first question was all me. Root vegetables and tubers? Bring the horticulture. I'm dangerously More close to players. Now. Antihistamines. Uh -huh. Clickety clack. Oh no. Oh, 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 Actors who play Dracula. What? Come on. Time is almost up. Yikes! There's a good ghost right behind you. Uh, 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 uh. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ten little words. <laughs> Oh, I fucked that up too. <laughs> oh. Ugh, I gotta get some harder <laughs> questions. Guess I didn't, damn. Uh, oh, what? No. No. no! This motherfucker. British Prime Ministers. You going to fish it? This will slow you down. You need a perfect we'll answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. We got you, dog. Good game, man. Good game. You fucking, you've been coming hard in all these games. It was only a matter of time before you beat our asses down proper. You got us in this one. Good job. Good job. You got us. All right. All right. I think I'm out of sticker packs. But we're going to play one more game. So if you stay for this last game, you're just in it for the love. Of the game. The love of the game. What should we play, though? I don't know. 
I think we should just like play something new and speculative, you know, since there isn't anything on the line. Right? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Do we try this once? I don't know, but it sounds like it could be interesting. I feel like I'm too drunk for this. I don't know, I think it could be funny. <laughs> Everyone take a shot and sign in. Room code. Let's get fucked up and do this. Very serious game. Whoa. Damn, girl. Oh, wow, I'm in. You beat me to it. <laughs> Oof. I'm definitely gone now, man. Very big VIP slot. Oh, there's an imposter. Mm -hmm. What? That, that is not a real Mike Mason, everybody. <laughs> if they say any or do anything inappropriate, understand that is not me. It is not Mike Mason. And they are not qualified to win a sticker pack. So she says, there's not a sticker pack. All right, two more seconds and then <laughs> everybody's in. Because everybody's in. <laughs> Somebody oh, hello. Welcome to the Dictionarium. It's like Ooh, a planetarium where you gaze up at trillions of dazzling nouns. Wow! What a very, very groovy group of people. In the Dictionarium, you will create a dictionary entry for a made-up word, and you will win if your answers get the most votes. If you're just watching right now, join the audience. Enter the room code and play along. Let's begin! Right now, you're getting a new phrase sent to your device. Write a definition for the piece of slang on your device. I believe that you can do this. Of course, I believe in a lot of wacky things, like a dog who can do Irish dancing. Voting. Choose the definition that makes the most sense to you, or that makes the most joy to your world. <coughs> and remember, you can award bonus points to... And the winning definition is... Yeah, yeah. Let's do the same thing for the other slang. What? I didn't even get to do this. Wait. Oh, another set of words, yeah. another chance to vote. Vote now. Pick the definition that makes you feel groovy. Hot dog. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like this game already. Because I'm winning. <laughs> I'm not just playing, it's just making me laugh. <laughs> Come on, vote already! That's 
that's some slang I don't get. <laughs> and the winning definition to be recorded forever nice in the job, dictionarium baby. is... Thanks, love. I was trying to find a way to word it that didn't sound crass. <laughs> I'm not, not comment beyond here, but I think you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Damn, look at all those hearts on yours. Wow, everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you, how did you all do that? Did Round do that? two. Oh, you just distribute your likes afterwards. You Give me a new piece of slang that likes. matches the definition on it your works. device. Like he wins, this but is we a don't quick actually round. like it. Speak grudgingly. <laughs> Wait, all right, fucking Mike Mason, man. We're trying to get sticker packs here, so we gotta let him win, but we're not putting any heart on it. sticker packs this round. Synonym, okay, for hot knot, tight end. Damn, okay, wow, I gotta dance. I gotta do that. It's the first year of being glass. Go, go, go! You don't have much time! <laughs> <laughs> Show me the words! Choose the slang that's matchy matchy with this <laughs> definition. Oh my. Tight like a top. Bean trapper. <laughs> right from a small buckle. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna give. Yeah. So after you put your answer in, then you can distribute the likes. But it does afterwards. And the winning slang is... Oh, the... False Mike Mason Fake won that Mike round. Mason, this is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Vote again. But if they win, I'm gonna be like, yeah, hell yeah, that was me, of course. What are y'all talking about? Of course that was Mike Mason, the winner. Duh. The winner? Yes. Secret Strash, I like that. Ooh, that's a good Get one. it? Like it? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking clever, so I'm gonna go ahead and predict that that's Carrie, so I don't know. Heard her gleeful reaction, giggling like a schoolgirl over there. <laughs> vote, vote, vote! I was giggling vote like right now. Him. Yeah. If you, okay. <laughs> and the official new slang phrase is <laughs> Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, that Harry and Mike and Mike <laughs> up at the top. Time Scary to use this game. slang in the sentence. <laughs> Write a sentence with your new piece of slang. A sentence is like a conga line of words that really gets the party started, if the party is a book. We're nearing the end. Submit, submit, submit. All right, man. I'm sorry I had to do this, but. <laughs> oh, yeah? I did what I had to do. Okay, we'll see. Yahtzee! I want to see these. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> also true. I don't know about that, but okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. Time to vote. <laughs> uh um, clickety clack. 
Although I assume they mean me and not this this imposter like me. <laughs> The votes are in, and the winning sentence is... What? Yeah, that was my answer, dogs. Believe it. Yeah, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Groovy, time to vote. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say that better be the real mic. <laughs> <laughs> they asked me to use it in a sentence. What else did you want me to say? It would behoove you to vote right now. <laughs> and the right. winning sentence really is... <laughs> oh my. This is going straight into the Dictionarium Archives. Thank you. Put it all together, and we've got a new entry the for the dictionary. <laughs> but now, Maybe let's see who up. got the most points. I made it! <laughs> I see. If you get to start the game, then you get a win. I hope to see you again very soon. Nice I just found job, a new baby. word swinging from the chandelier. Alright, and the fake Mike Mason. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose can hit me up at MikeMason at gmail.com. Well, that's funny since at the beginning of the game you said you had no more sticker packs. Whatever, I'm just playing, you. man. I, I love everybody <laughs> show up. Yeah. This all right, all right. But... Testing you all to see if you still really want to play. <laughs> yeah. But that said, my dogs, I think we're wrapping this one up. That was fun. It's it's been a, a full torch stock oh, evening. Shit. There was there was Trixie there Perry's cat Trixie there in the off. background. There she is. Yeah, if you looked close. Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 turn the other way. I gotta remember that I'm. Oh, there she. Oh, there she there's goes again. Because... A double sighting. Oh. I'm telling you, she's. The... Oh. I, I think we'll see her real quick here. Oh, Trixie Perry. Yeah, see, this Hi. cat is like one of those like, cats that like they adopt off the street. You know, that's food motivated, <laughs> so they can train it to do anything. <laughs> hey, oh, her ears itch. Come here. Oh. Are you gonna come up here? Yeah, see, you, somebody wanted panda cam, but if you just wait, we're gonna give you real life, fresh. <laughs> you gotta direct the camera down or something, Carrie. Oh, I oh, know. Oh, oh, She's like, come on. Hey, bring her here. Bring her up. Bring her up. Bring her up. This come is here. Trixie Dogs, a new star of the show. Carrie's cat. Trixie Kitty. She's yep. like, where are these treats? Just give me, she the, is. Give me the treats. Yeah, she, she is will be on the show as long as there right. is tricks involved or <laughs> treats involved. Come here, ready? Right here? There we go. Oh, back further. All right. It looks like Trick Dog has had enough. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this cat is uh, uh, super cool <laughs> and she is a mega killer. That's she's, right. She is all about the mice. She's all always killing shit out in the yard, and then Carrie's like super excited about it. It's a little scary, but whatever. It's mice. Come on, it's mice. She's like, oh, murder! More murder is amazing! Ah. If you've had mice in your basement, you would cheer the cat keeping the mice away from the house as well. So, yes, just saying. It's, it's quite healthy. It is. Anyways. All right, my dogs, I just want to take a moment <laughs> to say good night to everybody. And, uh, man, I really appreciate everybody who tunes in. Like I said, keep this thing a party. This is just, like I said, one of the most positive things in my life. I really do appreciate everybody who tuned in. Um, hell yeah, like I said, everybody who got a sticker pack hit me up. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay out there. And, uh, yeah, man, I, uh, oof. 
see y'all next week. Hand y'all off to Carrie for a little more uh, eloquent. <laughs> eloquent, yes. Eloquent yes. goodbye, yes. yes. Thanks again, yes. everybody, for hanging in here with us. Uh, it was a short demo tonight, but it was well worth it, and we had an extended game night. So I know a lot of people were disappointed that they missed the demo because we start at 9 p.m. Central now, 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. It's so true. keep that in mind. Yep. Um, yep, yep. But yeah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for everybody that hung out for game night. It was a blast, and we will see you next Tuesday night.